Jonathan Joestar, known by his peers as Jojo. Can this young boy from Liverpool, England bring his team back to glory? It won't be easy, there's a long road ahead for Jojo, a lot of training, a lot of hard work, some foes along the way and rivals he has to overcome. Thus begins the story of the Joestar bloodline. Yo, 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 what is good, people? Welcome to the long-awaited player career mode. Hopefully you've enjoyed that intro, setting the tone for the series. There we go. The new boy joins Liverpool, Jonathan Joestar, a.k.a. Jojo. Jojo excited to shine for club and country. This is going to be a wild ride. As you can see, we have joined Liverpool at only 19 years old. We've got a long way to go before we climb through the ranks, but hopefully we can strengthen Liverpool's midfield and be the midfielder that they need. This series, I've had in the, the works for quite a while, but it has been inspired by recent news that Liverpool will not be signing Jude Bellingham this summer. So, who needs Jude Bellingham when you've got Jojo, yeah? Let me just lay the groundwork for this series before we do get into it. Any anime fans watching this series, you will know who Jonathan Joestar is. You don't need to know anything about anime, let me say that off rip. You don't need to know anything about the show to understand this series or anything like that. But this series is based on the anime Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Like I mentioned in the intro, this is going to be a story about the Joestar bloodline. Part 1 of this series is about Jonathan Joestar and the concept of this series the reason why I picked this is because this will last us for generations of FIFA we can go on for years doing this series uh, and I just can't wait to get into this man I really can't wait to start this series but here we are like I've just mentioned we have joined Liverpool hopefully we can become the new big boy in the midfield we have set our pro as a defensive midfielder uh, this is my first time doing player career mode by the way so I'm not too used to the the menus but let me just show you, we have set our pro to a CDM defensive midfielder, height six foot five and 231 pounds. That is a tall and big man, but we have based that on Jonathan Joestar's actual measurements. Yeah, so we are going to be an absolute threat in that midfield. Let's check out our base stats, just getting into it. We have 80 strength off rip, 72 aggression, okay defending stats, and let's check our pace. Our pace is slacking because we are obviously so big, but the main thing is that strength 80 strength is huge i want to try and build our pro to be like jonathan joestar i would say jonathan's main attributes would be his strength and his stamina and his aggression probably that never give up attitude so those are the stats that we're going to look to increase with this pro i do believe this is a brand new feature to fifa 23 player career mode but you can actually give your pro a personality as we can see here there are three different types there is maverick heartbeat and virtuoso and depending on which one you go with you get uh, stats boosted in those areas now for Jonathan Joestar, I think he is definitely more suited to the heartbeat personality type. So we go across to activities here uh, and we have to get to know our teammates. Let's make a good first impression. As you can see here, we get to pick three different approaches to meeting our teammates. We get Maverick points, Harpy points or Virtuoso points. The Harpy point says, send a message to your teammates group chat, telling them you look forward to achieve great things together in the season ahead. We are going to go with that one, get those Harpy points in and Jonathan Joestar is off to a good start already. Now let me give you a bit more information about this career mode and the story I did mention in the intro. I said that this was going to be a story with rivals along the way. To give our pro some more context and some more personality and develop his character more. As I mentioned in the intro, Jonathan is a young lad from Liverpool. So he is playing for his boyhood club. 
Growing up, Jonathan lived a life of luxury in his father's mansion. But Jonathan's life was flipped upside down one day when a young boy from London was adopted into the family due to a death Jonathan's father owed to this boy's father. Jonathan and this young boy grew up together, support in Liverpool, both joined the Liverpool Academy and when it came time to be promoted to the senior squad, Jonathan took that chance as quickly as he could. But Jonathan's adopted brother had other ideas. Jonathan's adopted brother goes by the name Dio Brando. And as we can see, when Dio came of age to get promoted to the senior squad, he decided to turn his back on Liverpool and join rivals Everton. Dio, with the same build as Jonathan, 6'5", 231 pounds, another force to be reckoned with, but he is going to play as a striker for Everton. So we have got Jonathan playing CDM against the striker, Dio Brando, who will come out on top in that battle when Liverpool play Everton twice in this season. We've got that fated battle of brothers to look forward to, but first of all, we need to put in the work because we're not even going to be starting that game to play against Dio unless we get ourselves to a starter. As you can see in the top left, we are currently only a sub. So let's jump into some training. I think we get three uh, training sessions a week that we can do. So I'm going to jump into the training, smash the ratings on these and hopefully get us some skill points to start upgrading our pro. Each of these training sessions give you a personality bonus. Like I said, we are going to focus on the heartbeat personality trait, but we will also start developing the Virtuoso a little bit because as you can see, the defending um, skill games or whatever you want to call them, they do give Virtuoso points and we get a bonus XP reward uh, for the first time completion of these uh, skill games. So we probably will just go through them all to get the XP, which will give us personality points in the Maverick and Virtuoso uh, tr like personality trees, I guess it's called. So we will develop all three, but like I say, the main one will be this Heartbeat and we will develop our pass some uh, skill games to get that heartbeat uh, up. We just went up to level 3 after doing those skill games there. Let me know in the comments, would you like me to play the skill games on camera? Would you just like to see that? Or should we just keep the training off camera and keep uh, like the just the games in the videos? Let me know what you just want to see from this series. Obviously it's been a long time coming. I've been teasing a player career mode for a long time. Uh, before we do get into gameplay and stuff, I feel like this is probably quite a long video anyway with the intro and stuff. Let me get the YouTube stuff out the way. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Check out the playlists on the channel because you will see a playlist for the player career mode so you'll never miss an upload if you check that out also we do run a creator club manager career mode if you've not checked that out make sure you do because that series is goated and i hope this series can reach those heights that we've set with that series because that series is so fun bro and i appreciate everyone's support on that so hopefully you will enjoy this series too we do have nine skill points out after leveling up there we've also unlocked a perk slot Let's see the perks that we have. We've got Chase Down, which says Defender is quicker to recover and chase back when possession changes. Poacher, shoot it inside the box. Or Team Press, boost teammate's ability when pressing. Um, no, we're not going to use that, any of those two. We don't need shooting inside the box because we won't be in there much being a defender. So Chase Down is definitely one that we're going to put on and that should hopefully uh, benefit us in game. As for how we're going to spend these skill points out, like I said, Jonathan's main stats, I am looking in these physical stats here. We want to boost up his stamina so we can run all game boost up his strength so we can bully people off the ball especially when we come to play our rival Dio when we play against Everton because of course Dio has the same build as us he's going to have very similar stats big strengthy guy in that uh, up front position for Everton so we need to make sure we're ready for that because that is going to be really the highlight of the series yeah one of our main goals of this series if anyone's wondering like what the end game is well we're going to try and obviously move our way into the start 11 that's a given uh, maybe push for the captaincy yeah if we can stay with the club long enough and put in the performances um to get the captaincy that would be nice to see like i mentioned jonathan joestar definitely a heartbeat leader type character so can we push for the captaincy that would be huge but also another goal when we do come to play everton if we do get the chance to go against dio i gave dio very similar stats by the way to what you would be as a striker starting a player career mode so he should have potential to be special and he should fly up the rankings as long as everton don't sell him or whatever you know 
that's the the only worry I've got with this series. What if Liverpool sell us and what if uh, Everton sell Dio? But as long as we both stay at our clubs, when we come to play Everton, the main goal for that game is do not let Dio score. Yeah, he's going to be probably starting uh, and we can't let him score, bro. Yeah, we cannot let Dio score past us. So... Let's boost up our strength to make sure we do bully Dio if we do get the chance. You can see here that it's actually a lot cheaper than uh, even on pro clubs. So we're going to spend one skill point on strength to get plus three, up to 83 strength already. Boosting up that stamina too, that is vital. Strength again, plus four. We're up to 87 now. And we're going to get the bull archetype for five skill points here. Plus seven strength and plus seven aggression. That takes us up to 94 strength and 80 aggression. Nobody is going to be able to get us off the ball. We do need to focus on our pace somewhat though because our pace obviously is slacking with how big we are. But with that physical stat uh, increased there to 94 strength, I think now we can focus on boosting the pace up. Then once the pace is maxed out, we can go back and upgrade our uh, defending and, of course, our stamina, which is another big thing. 72 stamina is not great. At this point in the career mode, though, we don't really need to worry about stamina because we're only a sub anyway. So it's not like we're going to be coming in off the bench. Or, well, it's not like we're going to be playing 90 minutes, I should say. We're going to be coming in off the bench, so stamina isn't too much of a concern. We do have one skill point left over, though, so I'm going to go ahead and boost up our stand and tackle. In fact, let me go interceptions, boost up interceptions with that one point. And that takes us up to 71 overall. That is very nice to see. Our first archetype unlocked. And it is very fitting for Jonathan Joestar. Look at the strength. 85 physical we've got in our pro. I can't wait to start playing games, boys. You know, I can't wait for this. I've never done a, a career mode as like a, a defensive type player before. I've only ever done them as strikers or attackers. So I'm looking forward to seeing how this goes. Playing as a midfielder, more defensive minded. Uh, it's going to be tricky, I think, to get the, the highlights and stuff for the YouTube games. So we might play... A lot of games per episode just to get some highlights in there. But let's start advancing through the season. See if Jürgen has any messages for us. Um, in fact, first, before we do that, let's check out Liverpool's team. I know everyone is probably familiar with this team, but there we are. Jojo has potential to be special. Yeah, let's check out our competition. Liverpool do need a lot of strength in the midfield, especially in real life, in game. Let's see how that translates. We do have Stefan Bajesic. I can never say that guy's name, bro. Bajetic. Bajetic? There we go. I think that's it. Um, shout out this kid. I love this kid in real life. This guy is so, so good. He is a defensive midfielder as his primary position in game, but he can also play CM. So we're going to be battling with him, really, I think, for a spot. But now we've just overtook him in rating, so we might be a little bit higher in the pecking order. Of course, right now in that defensive midfielder role is Fabinho. He's 85 overall in this game, 28 years old. I actually thought he was older than that, Fabinho. Um, but Fabinho in real life seems to be finished. Can we move him out of the Liverpool squad in game? Obviously, we'll probably get moved around by Klopp a lot and not just play DM. We're going to be playing CM as well. Liverpool play the 4-3-3 false nine in FIFA, which has one DM and two CMs. So uh, we do have Curtis Jones, James Milner, Jordan Henderson, Arthur as well on loan at Liverpool. I completely forgot he played for us, bro. What the hell? <laughs> I completely forgot he existed, yo. Um, if you can't tell, by the way, and you're new to the channel, I am a Liverpool fan in real life. Uh, but getting back to the midfield, Naby Keita, uh, Oxlade Chamberlain, Thiago, of course, who is getting on. And then we've got Carvalho, who will probably play there sometimes, and Harvey Elliott. There's actually a lot of competition for these midfield spots. People like Carvalho and Elliott sometimes will be playing on the wing, though. Uh, exciting prospects there. So it's going to be a tough competition just within our squad to even get that start in place. But hopefully we can rise up those rankings. And that's why I went for uh, the DM role, because like I say, there's not much competition for the DM spot. It's mainly for the other centre mid uh, spots like Curtis Jones, Harvey Elliott, Carvalho, all of those players we just mentioned. But with the DM spot, we've only really got uh, Stefan. I'm just going to call him Stefan. I can't say his second name. Uh, and Fabinho is our only competition, really. So let's start advancing through the season, finally, uh, with all that good stuff out the way. Make sure you hit the like button with this being the first episode of the player career mode. If you are enjoying the concept and all good stuff like that, make sure you do let me know in the comments um, if you do enjoy, you know? So then I'll keep making it. It's been a long-awaited series. People have kept asking me during the creator club manager career mode to start a player career mode, and here we are. So hopefully you enjoy what I'm going to bring to the channel. And I really hope that this series pops off, bro, because I'm really excited to start this. Let's get into it. We've got some more activities here we can do. Uh, we can actually spend our wages on FIFA this year, uh, which is a nice little addition. We have £12,000 in our bank. Um, that must be our weekly wage, 12 grand. That's not bad as like a, a starter. So we're going to buy a trampoline. 
for some reason buying a trampoline a two thousand pound trampoline bloody hell how big is it lad <laughs> we're spending two grand on a trampoline yeah it's gonna give us 50 happy points and plus one jumping that's hilarious <laughs> that is hilarious <laughs> buying a trampoline gives you plus one jumping stat let's go ahead and do it uh, we get those happy points in there as well i'll show you in a minute what those happy points actually do but also with the nine thousand pound we have left i'm going to go ahead and buy these dance classes because that will give us plus one balance uh, and also some virtuoso points so let's go ahead and buy that this is actually hilarious some of the stuff that you can buy bro look at that a high-end mattress you can buy a mattress <laughs> this reminds me of new star soccer anyone ever play that on the phone new star soccer that is an a goated app uh, but yeah we've got a lot of things we can buy a lot of things we need to save up for handmade shirts and silk ties 13 grand Jesus Lord. A designer suit from the top designer. £21,000 for a suit. Lad, what is it? The JoJo suit? In fact, we need to buy it now. <laughs> we need to buy it now. A 30 grand treadmill. Okay, I'm going to stop looking at this stuff because <laughs> my head's gone. We can also invest in things, which is quite cool. We can buy an esports team. Probably not going to go with that. Um, so... What, so you put 43 grand in and get 50 grand back? A seven grand return isn't that good of an investment, is it really? Um, but this is quite cool. I like the, what they've done with player cream mode this year. Um, so yeah, man, I can't wait to start getting some more money in. Like I mentioned, I was going to show you the personality thing. So right now we have 130 uh, heartbeat points and 95 virtuoso points. That makes us 50% heartbeat as the dominant trait and 42% virtuoso. And here's what that does. So the heartbeat gives us aggression, reactions, interception, vision, ball control, short pass and long pass. Very nice stats there to get uh, stat increases on. That gives us a plus one in all of those situations or stats as for the virtuoso since we're only at 42 percent on that that gives us defensive awareness stand and tackle agility and balance very nice stats there to get boosted um so yeah i'm happy with that happy with how we're developing the pro so far i think we've got a few more training sessions we can do like i say let me know in the comments do you want to watch me do the training sessions or not would you rather just see the gameplay let me know and we'll get to it we've leveled up again after that training session there three more skill points let's go ahead and apply them now i do sort of have in mind what i want to do with this pro like i mentioned already i've told you where i want to increase in fact what we're going to do here by the way is take off that interception point that gives us four skill points now and we're going to go ahead and increase our acceleration by plus six get us up to 60 start developing that pace like i said i've got a, like a, a preconceived notion of what i want to upgrade in our stats but once we start playing games that, that might completely change we might realize we need to upgrade certain areas more than others uh, and then f after focus on that you know so i've got this like guideline really for getting into it but uh, we'll have to wait and see until we start playing actual games what we need to upgrade another level up there three skill points every time we level up is a lot you know we're gonna fly through these ranks we've also just got another perk unlock called last defender that says increase your defending attributes when you are the last player back now with this being my first player career mode let me know in the comments if there's any like really good perks that we need to be using if there's any that are better than the others you know because like i say i'm new to this any tips and tricks would be much appreciated i read every comment left on these videos so just let me know down below if there's anything that we should look to focus on we're going to put some more skill points into that acceleration yet again. Like I say, next up, we probably will just max out our pace. It still won't be much once we max it out because we are just such a big guy. Um, but, you know, at least it'll be something. It'll be better than what it was. We've got some more money, I guess. These just stay for the whole career mode and you just buy them as you go along. So uh, we've got some more money. I'm going to get some more heartbeat points there by sponsoring coach travel. That gives us 50 there. We also did some training on um, Maverick points, which is the other one. So let's see how our personality looks now that we've added some Maverick points in there. It hasn't changed, so I don't exactly understand how... Like, you see the way on Virtuoso, it's only halfway and not full way, but then Heartbeat is full. I don't understand how that works, to be honest. You need to, to have, like, a certain amount of points in each tree to advance along it. Um, like I say, let me know in the comments. I'm all new to this. This is confusing to me, but, yeah, I'm sure we'll learn as we go along. Here we go, then, now, finally, at our first game, yeah... We're playing Latium, a.k.a. Lazio, in a preseason tournament. Klopp expected to blood youngster. What the hell does that mean? What sort of wording is that? Blood youngster in Champions Trophy. 
Everybody at Liverpool is talking about promising academy graduate Jojo. Ahead of the club's uh, Champions Trophy pre-season tournament, all the signs are that the boss will give his rising star some first team minutes. An appearance off the bench for the new boy should come as no surprise. Klopp has never been afraid to put his faith in young players after all. And that is true. I like the way they've added that in FIFA. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's a thumbnail right there, by the way. Let me just say that so I don't forget uh, while I'm editing. But let's get into it, boys. We are still a sub in the top left. We're very close um, to pushing higher than that. You know, we've been doing our training. I'm sure Klopp has been noticing the effort that we're putting in. And let's get to it. Ilkay Gundogan joins Juventus. Wow, that's a big signing. Bayern Munich have signed Immobile from Latium. So the team we're about to play now have lost their main striker. That is huge. Just looking around the, uh, the leagues and stuff at certain signings. Bayern Munich have sold Pavard. Real Batiste sell uh, Borgia Iglesias and Angel Gomez also on the move to Fulham. Be interested. I'm just like, dreading seeing Dio come up in this centre like news thing. I hope Dio stays with Everton because uh, it will make for a great storyline once we come to play them. Just making sure he is in the team and yes he is. We're looking at Everton's squad here. As you can see Dio does have his own competition. He's got Ellis Sims, Neil Malpe and then uh, Dominic Calvert-Lewin ahead of him. So he's got to climb the ranks too. You know it's not an easy task for Dio but he turned his back on his brother and on Liverpool to join the Ops. Yeah, we need to batter them when we play them. Anyway, let's get to the first game. First bit of game time for Jojo. I almost forgot our name then. Jonathan Joestar, a.k.a. Jojo. Let's get to this game. We've been subbed on for Fabinho in the 56th minute. It's 1-1 at the minute. Can we hold the defence, hold down the fourth, and hopefully the attackers can go ahead and get that winning goal. We've been subbed on for Fabinho. A like-for-like -like change in that DM role. We're going to play as Jojo. We are on ultimate difficulty, by the way, for anyone wondering. I don't know if I can check that just to show you. Uh, is it in the game settings? There we go. Uh, ultimate difficulty, just to, to highlight that. Had some controversy on the, the manager career mode around that. But let's jump into it. Playing as Jojo. Can't wait to see how he feels in game. Let's get it. Of course, we played with him in the uh, skill games. Well, but it doesn't really count. Time, and this is his professional debut, Stuart. Well, what a moment this is. He'll be nervous, but he'll also be excited. He just needs to get out there and get a good couple of early touches. Let's hope he does well. Oh, Robbo's through as the ball straight away. First touch in a Liverpool kit. We passed it to Virgil and got on with our, <laughs> our play. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's poor from Firmino. Well, then Salah. Look at that, Virgil putting trust in us. I don't have trust in us, though. We're going back to the keeper. Classic Hendo move. We are just playing as Hendo. That's the inspiration here. Look at us pulling the strings already. Yeah, we fit in so well. Go on, Thiago, lad. I'm giving you the option there, Thiago. He's found us. I'm looking for Salah down the wing. I don't know why he's not running. Go on, Trent inside. Lad, I've got some space here. We've moved forward. Oh, a big interception there. We've got some legs in us to move forward, you know, boys. Go on, Matip. Oh, what a pass that is into Salah. Don't know why Salah's blasted it back to us. We've got Hendo there on the edge. Into Salah again. Nice play. That is quality play. What a save from the keeper. Oh, let's go. Hey, this is fun playing as, like, a defender. You know, sitting back, just letting the boys play in front of us. Jota comes on for Firmino there. That's a big... Uh... Oh, can we get our big head on it? We're six or five. Put this on my head. Hendo, it's on my head, Jojo! Oh, lad, no way. Imagine we scored in our debut, that would have been massive. <laughs> At least we know we're a threat from the corners, and rightly so. You know, we're six or five. That's a big frame. Oh, go on, Verge. What was Virgil doing there, lad? Look at that, tracking the defender there. Go on, Robbo, that's all you, son. I'm there if you need Robbo. Well, in Thiago, lad. Thiago's been playing us, you know, Thiago, he puts faith in the youth. He's been training up Stefan as well on the training pitch in real life, you can tell. That Spanish connection. We might have to start learning Spanish, bro, to talk to Thiago in his midfield. Oh, we tried to jump a passing lane there and got caught out. Showing the inexperience. Back post, Robbo. Back post, Robbo. Get it out, Jojo. Well in, lad. Robbo, lad, there was a man at the back post. This is so realistic. Yes, Andy, inside. Well in, son. Get it up to Thiago. See, easy does it. I like to play it easy, playing in midfield, yeah? We do the job that we're required to do. We don't need to do too much. Just keep it simple. Stick to the basics. That's all we need to do here. 
Well in Robbo. Look at that. Again, sticking to the basics. Little passes into Thiago. Winning the ball back. Holding possession. That's all we need to do. We don't need to be, you know, the star man. We don't need to start every attack. Play a big ball over the top. A big flashy pass. Hendo well in, lad. Playing out to the press there. Into Diaz. Oh, Diaz. Lad, I forgot Luis Diaz played for us, you know. You wouldn't think I'm a Liverpool fan. Forgot about that. I forgot about Diaz. Where's um, Dao, is he, lad? My goal for this season is to assist Dao and Nunes. Yeah, I would love to. Look at this gap here. Then I'm having to fill in for Matip. Press Matip. Big save, Allison. Come on, boys. Defence all over the place. I'm having to fill in. I'm the youth player here. Yeah, where's the leadership? Virgil, lad. Use your mouth. Pause. That's crazy. Virgil, whoa, that's a risky pass, bro. Giving it out wide. A nice little pass forward. Yeah, inspire the boys. Push them forward. Come on, Jota. It's into Hendo. Why is Hendo the furthest man forward? A big interception there. Jojo into Trent. Salah, Jota. Do something with it. It's into uh, Thiago, I think that was. Running forward on a late run. Again, defence all over the place. Where's Matip, lad? Oh, Matip's over there covering for Trent. Oh, and now we're having to cover for Matip. Nice defensive positioning from me. Trent, get out there, lad. Don't make me shout at you. I do that enough in real life. Big block again. Jojo, this is a debut to remember. And now we're starting the counter-attack. Oh, we don't have the pace, but look at the strength. Go on, son. Someone give me an option. Salah. The ball's through. Hendo, lad, I'm knackered me. I'm, I'm tracking back, but that was a nice run there. That strength was crazy. Oh, yo. It's it Salah. Oh. Big inception from uh, Robbo. Full time. 1-1 one, one against Latium. A good debut. A solid debut. I would be impressed if I was Jürgen bringing on this youth player and he plays like that. That was a very good performance for me, I think. And a nice way to, to push ourselves into the team. We only got a 6.8. Are you kidding me? 14 passes completed. No tackles. We had like two interceptions though. 6.8. I thought we played well better than that. But our number is 68 though. I, I can't lie. That's probably where it comes from. They just saw the number on our back and thought, yeah, he can have that as his rating. But I I thought that was fun. <laughs> yeah. We were the second best rated player in our team. Look at that. Salah must have scored the one goal. Uh, so we got a 7.7. .7. We came second in rating. Like, come on. We've just assisted Darwin there <laughs> in the skill game. That's one highlight I will show from the skill games. We got our assist to Darwin, and there's two. What a head of Darwin, he like? Oh, he's quality, mate. In the box. Go on, Darwin. Oh, <laughs> lad. He's so sick, you know. Let's jump into our next game. It's against Al Itihad. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, let's jump straight in. Wow, we're actually starting this game. Shout out to Jürgen. He has put faith in the youngsters. We're starting this game alongside Curtis Jones and James Milner in the midfield. Of course, quite a weak uh, midfield there. It is only pre-season. I wouldn't expect to start in a league game already. Um, there must be a problem with the game if we were starting a league game already. But let's jump into it. Jürgen must like what he sees, bro. Yeah, we're putting in that work and training. As soon as it comes up to train, we're jumping straight in there, smashing out A's in all of the skill games. And let's see what we can do. Starting our first game for Liverpool. Let's go. I really did not expect to start this early, you know. I thought it was going to be like a, a good few weeks into the season or maybe even season two before we got like a start. I guess it is only pre-season, like I say, but... Counter-attack here, that's Gakpo through on goal. Firmino's played it through, he's gone back. This is sweaty play. Why are they just passing it to each other, bro? Someone shoot. Well, that's a bad pass from me. You give the ball away, I'm having to fill in for Trent at right back. Plenty of support here. Big interception there, Gomez, well in. Come on. I made a mistake there, but that's, that just comes with youth, you know? Milner. Milner, we've gave him the option inside. We've given the ball away again. Oh, Klopp's going to sub us off at this rate. What am I playing at? Come on. Oh, 
Oh, a nice looking pass. And the cross smuggled away. Oh, what a pass. What a save from Allison. I thought, lad, I thought Robbo was going to run it into his own goal then. Oh, poor start to this game. Come on. The pressure's got to us starting. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Encouraging nice little link up play there. Oh, Milner trying to hit the ball through. Just cut out. Milner. Let's give it into Salah. Big save. We're there. That's our head. Oh, never mind. Jones has won it. Ah, come on. Oh, what a pass that is. Off to the races. Joe Gomez. Big recovery tackle there. Gomez well in. That's our head. Surely well in. Yeah. Wow, love you. Fell to the floor after that. Must have took a lot of impact. Six for five frame coming down. And we set up a goal. No, we haven't. We were close. Oh, lad. We're knocking on the door. You know, we've had so many shots in the first 40 minutes. Yeah. I have played poorly. I can't lie. We've had like one highlight of me doing something. <laughs> and there's two. Yes, look at the strength, lad. Can't get the ball off us. Let's go forward now. What are you doing for me, you know, lad? We're on the same team, Rob. Oh, lad. We're on the same team, Bobby. And look at the man in the middle now that you've just left there. Big save, Allison. Ah, oh, come on. Win that. I'm there. Easy. Oh, come on, ref. Yeah, poor first half from me. You need to step it up here. A lot of clubs have been in for him, but now he needs to fulfill that potential. He might just have to be patient, though. Gakpo. We're getting battered this second half, well, in Gakpo. Come on, Salah's through. Play Salah. Jones, play Salah. Go on, lad. Jones is back inside. Where are you going with it, Salah? What is that? Oh, well, in. <laughs> yeah. Come on, boys. 1 0. We had no play in. <laughs> we had no part in that attack there, but. It's 1-0, you know, all that matters is that we win. Yeah, Jonathan Joestar, like I mentioned, he's a heartbeat. He doesn't care about self, like, glory. He wants the team to do well. So as long as we're winning, that is fine by him. Well, in big interception there. Back to Allison. Yeah, give it back, give it back. Safe over here. Let's go, Robbo. Start that counter. E oh, come on. Easy distribution. Look at that. We win the ball back. Play it out. And again. Let's go. We are literally the heartbeat of this team, bro. We're the mitochondria of this cell. Now we're getting forward here. Who can we find? Playing it wide to Trent. What a pass that is. Go on, Trent. Whip that in. Salah's at the front post. Trent, what are you doing? Go on. Oh, what a save. Not the team need to play it quicker. I don't know why they're not playing. Yeah. Yes, Robbo. Watch this. Dink into Salah. Oh, that was ambitious. Just tried to get a highlight there. Big head though. Well in, Jojo. Into Salah, Firmino. They're doing such weird passes, yeah? This is like... It's like my mate on Pro Clubs, this. It's like, just shoot, bro. Passing every time. Want to get the final assist. Look at them. They just want the assists. Look at that, lad. Oh, my God. Shoot someone, please. Oh. Klopp, I think we need something off, mate. I've run out of stamina here. Oh, big interception, Jojo. Those big six or five legs. On the end there, that is huge. Winning the ball back. Spark on the counter. Yes, Firmino, come left. We've played it through Gakpo. You've got Robbo on the overlap. Firmino's inside. Go on, Robbo. Whip it in, lad. I'm on the edge if you want. Whip it in. Get it in the box, Robbo. We're there. Oh, lad, Firmino. You should have got that to us, lad. You were there for a goal. Using all of our stamina to get back now. Oof. That's a poorly timed slide, Zach. I just tried to cover some ground with it. Well in, Robbo. Solid defensively going forward, though. We might struggle for goals this season if everyone just keeps passing it rather than shooting. There's Salah. Bad touch. Bad, bad touch. Well in, Trent. Winning it high up. It's for me now to Salah. Who's he going to pass to? Lad, what are you doing, boys? Go on, Jojo. Win that. Yes, son. What? Lad, let's go. <laughs> oh, Jojo, lad. What a dominant force he is. Over the top to Gakpo, setting him off. You don't have stamina to follow up, but we've set it down to Gakpo. Hold it in the corner, finish the game off. That'll be a nice little win there. Come on. Go on, on our heads. Let's finish the game off with a, a little goal, yeah? Go on, son. Oh. 
What a win that was, boys. Decent little game there again. We played a full 90, so shout out to Jürgen for giving us the game time. What that's just highlighted to me, though, obviously, I said at the start, we don't need to upgrade our stamina just yet because we're going to be playing on a bench. But we've just got to start there, and we were absolutely knackered by the end of the game. So we definitely do need to focus on that stamina once we start getting consistent game time in the starting 11 to start with. So I just skipped the match report there, but we did get a 7.6, I want to say. A very nice match rating, or 7.7, as you can see. Man of the match went to Andy Robbo. Don't really agree with that, but 7.7, .7, we will take that. Oh, wow, new signing for Liverpool. Ricardo Pereira, 27.3 million. A backup right back in case Trent gets injured, I guess. Oh, Liverpool fixtures revealed. Liverpool fans now know the team will be playing Liverpool against Everton on the opening weekend. Don't lie. Don't lie. Jojo versus Dio on the first day of the season. Don't lie to me, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> Let's check the calendar. We've still got another game in the preseason tournament. We're playing Man City in the Community Shield. And the first game of the Premier League season is against Everton. And Dio. I hope he's still there. I hope we get to play against Dio. That would be huge. Oh, boys. I'm going to finish off the preseason tournament in this episode. And then we can get to the main games in the next one. With this being the intro to the series. I feel like this episode is probably going to be quite long. I've been recording for nearly an hour and a half now. I don't know how much I'm going to chop it up or whatever. But... Yeah, let's finish off the preseason tournament. We've got some more money in the wages. We're going to enroll on a motivational course, which gives us plus one aggression, I, I guess. Yeah, maybe we need to go on an anger management course and get minus one aggression, but that's what we're going to spend 12 grand on. I don't know if that's permanent stat increases. Somebody let me know in the comments, please. It says plus one there, but it's like a training cone, so I don't know if that's just for one match or if that's a permanent increase in stats. It would be nice if it was permanent, uh, and it would be nice if somebody could let me know. Currently, it's our third in the preseason tournament. Uh, I don't even know if it is a tournament or just like a playoff thing. You know, do we go to a knockout stage after this or what? I don't know, but we're playing Al Hilal as the final game, so I'm guessing it is just uh, a thing. We're starting this game. We've gone down to 70 overall. What the hell? I thought we were 70. Hold on. I thought we were 72 or 71. Why have we gone down? I'm guessing it's to do with this the personality tree. We've just lost uh, the short passing ball control and long passing from the heartbeat section um i'm not too sure why that is boys i'm lost yeah if anyone can help me out with this stuff in the comments that would be much appreciated but we just lost one overall um and i'm guessing it's due to the personality that is unfortunate but we're starting this game was low on stamina so i'm surprised klopp is even starting us but again giving the youth lad the chance in the team we've got matter been at the back nabi Keita in the midfield this time uh, with diaz on the left wing let's jump into it we probably will have to request a sub but let's just see how it goes. Who's that to, lad? Yeah? Go on, Virgil. What are you skating for? Make the run, Robbo. Whoa, why does he give it to us? Blasting it forward. That's a nice pass into Diaz. Go on, Firmino. I see you, Diaz. What a pass that is. Open up the play. Diaz into Salah. Go on. Get in. What a goal, lad. We were involved in that as well. That is what we love to see. Yeah, at the end of the season, we might not have a lot of stats in terms of assists, in terms of uh, goals. But as long as we make plays like that, that's all I care about. Look at this for a pass on the weak foot, blasting it into Luis Diaz. And a great pass into Salah and a great finish. That is what we love to see. Yeah, that's, go that's exactly how I want to be playing. If you have noticed, by the way, you are not tripping. Jojo's hair has changed colour. Uh, I thought I'd add that in as a little feature that his hair will just randomly change colour sometimes because if you've ever seen the Jojo's Bizarre Adventure anime in part one, Jonathan's hair seems to change colour like every episode. I swear he's been blue, green, purple, red. Like, <laughs> So we're just going to throw that in there as a little bit of like a, a spice. We're purple for this game, I guess. You know, We'll have to wait and see what it turns to next game. Out wide again Luis to Luis Diaz. Robbo on the overlap. Oh, Hendo, why didn't you find Robbo? Is that just my vision? I can see that. Look at that ball out wide to Trent. That is a great pass again. We might not even need to upgrade our passing because it's so good already. Here's Naby Keita running in. He wants one. Gap in the midfield now, though. Can we win that ball? Let's go, Jojo. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And now we play it simple. Yeah, we do the big stuff and then we play it simple. Firmino, oh, we had an overlap and run there. We will try and get forward uh, when we can. 
naturally I am a striker on pro clubs and stuff, so I do have a striker's mind about making runs and finding space and stuff, so I will naturally creep forward. It's going to be hard to get used to playing uh, defensive midfield and staying back, but, um, you know, who knows? Maybe in the future, one of uh, Jonathan's relatives will come into play and he will be a striker. What a tackle that is. Jojo again. Man of the match so far for sure. Big play, Salah. Oh, big save. We were almost included in an attack yet again. Oh, I keep going short, thinking it's pro clubs. Get it on me, head, lad. I'm here at the front post. Jojo! Oh, it's off the line. Go on. Yeah, no. Oh, lad. I thought that had gone in. No way, bro. Did he save that or was it the defender? In at the post? No way. You've got to be kidding. Oh, lad. We nearly had our first goal in Liverpool colours. Look at that. He was aggressive, about to dive on it. The keeper, <laughs> the keeper took out his own player there. Oh, that's funny, bro. How did we not score? Oh, major thumbnail material. Oh, the purple air is going to look good in the pictures, I'm telling you. Oh, a big interception again. We don't even need to upgrade our stats. And there's a ball through, Salah. Why are you giving it back to us, Salah? What's the obsession with passing the ball out wide? Oi, referee! Oi! That, that must be one of Dio's mates, as if he just took us out like that. Go on. Salah, why is he just... Ah, it looked like he passed to the keeper then. He's so addicted to passing it. He just passed it to the keeper instead of shooting. On our head again, Hendo. I'll score this one. Jojo! Ah, oh, lads, we've knocked him out, though. Bloody Zidane in the middle there. And again, Hendo. I'm back in there. Whip it in, lad. Diaz! What a finish. Let's go, boys. 2-0. Smashing Al-Hilal, I think they were called. Absolutely bullying them. Yeah, it was Al-Hilal. I thought I just made that up for a second. Oh, we got wrong-sided there. Oh, Matip's been done. What a save, Alisson. Saving both mine and Matip's ass. Is that Igalo? No way. Didn't know he was playing there for these. Shout out to Igalo. In that position, you just have to smash it. <laughs> and that's exactly what he's done there. But he terrored me and uh, Matip. No wonder a player like Igalo, a decent little player there. In that position, I just have to smash it because there's no way I can just tap it in there. We've done well offensively this game. We need to focus on our defense now. Try and keep a clean sheet for the lads to back. I include ourselves in the clean sheet as a DM. I feel like you should get clean sheets on your record. Go on, Nabi, lad. Oh, he's feeling himself. Trent's been done there. Somebody's making a run inside. Matthew, you need to go across and cover. I've covered the middle. Oh, nice defensive uh, position there from everyone. Go on, Jojo. Nail him, lad. It's a foul on the edge. Big block, Virgil. That was nice. Nice bit of communication between Jojo and Matip there covering for each other, you know. I like to see that. We're getting used to, to being in this squad. We low-key look like Michael Jackson, bro. I swear, like, when I made it, it actually low-key looked like Jojo. But in-game, he just looks like Michael Jackson or something. The eyes are going crazy. Avoid can see the more. Make three interceptions. We've definitely made at least two so far. What the hell is that? Let's see how we are for stamina in this second half, though. Like I said, we were slacking at the start of the game. Still about just above half. Not too bad. We've had a good first half as well. I wouldn't mind if Klopp took us off here. Oh, he referee. Look at the strength in Jojo on to keep that, though. And that guy just backed off that time. He was like, yeah, I'm not going to try that again. It ain't me like last time I tried to tackle him. Hendo the furthest man forward. What a long shot. What a strike. Easy save for the keeper in the end. But Thiago's coming on. Who's coming off? It's going to be Keita. I thought that might have been us. Um, I'm guessing we will get like hooked soon. But not until we score this header from a corner. Oh, it's a bad ball. I was actually dropping to our feet there. Not our head. Go on, Thiago. Who can he find? Hendo. I'm still in there if you want to whip it. Oi. Well, Spurs have been trying for a while to get this deal Easy the handle. And now it is over the line, Stuart. Well, the reported nice pass, Diaz. Robbo on the overlap. Is it Robbo? Going in Rose Ed, this. Oh, he's actually scored. Well in Robbo, lad. Need to work on that in real life, bro. The amount of times I've seen Robertson in that position in real life and just thought he's never scored on this, lad. <laughs> you know what I mean? He needs to work on that, but clearly in game it's working for him. Let's go. Another sub there. I think Gakbo just came on in place of Diaz. So we're still playing. Klopp really liking how we're playing right now. 
Igalo has tell us twice though. Oh, easy does it. Look at that. Just read the passing lane completely. Igalo trying to press. Counter attack Gakpo. Play Salah. Go on. That's a quick defender. Go on, Salah. Look at the hustle there. Press him, Salah. I'll get up and support you, lad. Never mind. I need to run back. <laughs> Don't have the stamina to be doing that. Win that Diaz. I don't know who came off for, for Gakpo then, because it wasn't my man. Jojo! Oh my god, that was the worst shot I've ever seen. At least it was on target. Why did it say great skill in the top, right? That was the worst shot I've ever seen. We kicked the ground first or something. Like, what happened there, bro? We didn't focus our, uh, our breathing before it. Need to get that ham on going. Well then, Trent. Oh, Thiago's put me under pressure there. On the overlap, Salah, I'm there. Give me it. Oh, Salah, the one time he doesn't pass. I will celebrate with him though, because it's 4 0 and I can't complain. But the one time he stops doing all these stupid passes is when we were on the overlap. That's nice to find the space there. Look at that, Salah. We probably wouldn't have made it there, to be honest. We didn't have the pace or the stamina to make it into that gap before the defender closed it, I don't think. But still, Klopp, why have you left us on, lad? I am knackered. <laughs> we are playing on one leg. Big tackle verge, get it out. Keep the clean sheet. Agalo! In that position, you just have to smash it, and he has smashed it into the back of the net there. Unlucky, boys. A clean sheet wipeout. I don't even know what I was doing there. I think I was daydreaming on the edge. Nah, I wasn't at fault there. I was doing my role, you know what I mean? But... It's unfortunate. Dar Wizzy just came in on right wing. It's time to step up though and get an assist. I'm going to whip it to him straight away. <laughs> on the overlap, Darwin. Back inside. Jojo from range. Wow, we've had two good shots here on the edge. Maybe we should look at increasing our long shots because we seem to be getting in uh, good opportunities to take the shot. Do we need to increase our... Oh, what is that for a delivery? Jojo, inside. Nice pass, Hendo. Give it back to us, Hendo. I'm on the overlap. Gakpo. Lad, we want a goal here. Thiago, find me. Find me. Find me. I'm there. I'm there. A third shot. Yeah, look to pass the teammates. Bro, relax. Yeah, I want a goal. <laughs> here we go. Front post again. Whip this Darwin. I wanted to assist you, but you can assist me or not. Two terrible corners from Darwizzy. 87th minute and we're still playing. Klopp really has faith in us here. Is Fabinho injured or something? Like, why have we got so much game time? And Stefan's not even made an appearance yet either. Go on, Jojo. What a block that is. That has stopped a certain goal. Well in. That's why he's left us on. Yeah. And now we're starting the counter attack. Go on, Darwin. I'm there, lad. I'm not there. Look how slow we are. I'm not there, but I'm there if you need me, Darwin. Back to you. Oh, an offside. Full time. 4 1. That was a very good game again. We are really, like, trying to cement our spot in this team. And I think we're doing well so far. Klopp clearly impressed. He's gave us two full 90 minutes there. And we're hugging our boy Darwin. We couldn't get that assist to him. But I'm sure one time this season we will assist Darwin Nunes. That is the goal. Virgil giving us a pat on the back there for a good performance again. And we really look like Michael Jackson. I hate how we look in game. But an 8.1. Solid game from us there. Yeah, that was probably the best out of the preseason games. We're only going to get better from here as well as our stats increase as we get more game time and more experience. It's only going to get better, boys. This is just the start. And this is just the start of the career mode as well. Like I mentioned, this is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Jonathan Joestar is not the only player you will see throughout the course of this career mode that will span over multiple FIFAs. Yeah, we are building a franchise right now and a whole series, bro. This is just part one of the series, yeah? Part one, episode one, Jonathan Joestar, the start of the adventure. Wow, we've just been promoted to the start in 11. Already, Klopp must be really impressed with what he saw in pre-season. We must have put in way more work than Fabinho, but that is massive. We've got a decision to make here. Read a book by a club legend. Find out about the life of a legend from Liverpool history. I, don't, I guess there's no downside to this. You just do it. Yeah, and we get the, the points for it. Okay, so 10 harpy points, 30 virtuoso points. 
But boys, that will bring us to the end of this first episode of the player career mode. Hopefully you did enjoy the episode and enjoy the concept that I'm going with for this series. Like I said, I hope this does take off and can be something that I can continue for a long time because I really enjoyed that first episode and I can't wait to film more. Oh my God, Firmino's just left and joined Arsenal. No way, bro. Firmino has joined Arsenal and Leon Goretzka has joined Liverpool. Wow, so now that's even more competition in the midfield. They've just spent 102 million on Goretzka, but then we're in the starting 11 still. So I don't know what's going on. That's crazy. Goretzka, bro, what a signing, but we've sold Firmino. That is massive. But yeah, we are going to wrap this episode up. Hit the like button and subscribe. I think I will be uploading this episode on a Sunday, possibly with it being the first of the, the season. But from now on, episodes will come out on Tuesdays and Thursdays, possibly on Sundays as well. Uh, I don't know whether to do three episodes a week of this or just two episodes, because obviously we do play the manager career mode on Creator Club as RDC World slash The Dream Chasers. That comes out every Monday, Wednesday and Friday on the channel. So if you are new to the channel, check that series out. You might enjoy it. Uh, maybe if manager career mode is your thing or even if it's not your thing check it out and you might enjoy we've got a great series going on the manager career mode and i hope this player career mode can be just as great we do play man city as the first game so that's going to be a real test for us yeah up against harland probably the best striker in the league we also play against everton and we might be playing against our adopted brother dio in that game yeah so i can't wait for that boys Hopefully you did enjoy, like, comment, share, subscribe, and for people who watch the Dream Chasers career mode, you might be familiar with this outro already, but for the people that are new to the channel, you might also recommend this outro if you've clicked on this based on being a JoJo's fan, but like, comment, share, subscribe, I'll catch you next time. Take it easy.